After 50 episodes, Dracovish finally comes back to me! Yo, what's up everyone? Trey Man one here. Hype news everyone. We got a new episode title, new summaries, and a new preview all at the same time for Pokemon Journeys. Now, no, we are taking a two-week hiatus from the series, so the next episode won't air until April, but at least they gave us all this hype and amazing news. There's a lot to talk about today, guys, so let's get right into it. The new titles for episode 62, and it's a big one. It's Damp Drizzle. I just want to say, I knew that Ghost Sauber was going to evolve in the Drizzle one day, and I'm so glad that it's finally happening because Grookey's the new baby, and you know, it's kind of like what they did with Sauber and Cinderace. The summary reads as follows Ghost Sauber evolves in the episode airing on April 16th. Sauber admires Inteleon so much that he's been training every single day. Has the time for his evolution finally arrived? Just what in the world is that Pokemon? Sobble will become the Inteleon it admires so much? Question mark. Now that's actually something interesting. It will no longer be the weepy mess on. Uh, goes timid and always weepy Sobble finally evolves into that Pokemon. Sobble really admires Inteleon. Sobble has met Inteleon before. It strongly admires Inteleon, which it has finally evolved form. So that's kind of interesting. Will Sobble become Inteleon? To be honest, personally, I don't want Sauber to become an Inteleon. I feel like if Sauber becomes an Inteleon, it's going to take away from Go Cinderace. And I don't know, him just having all the finally evolved starters just doesn't fit right with me. But with how the summaries talk about Sauber becoming an Inteleon one day, I do believe that may end up being the case. But I think we will stick with Drizzle for quite a bit in the series, as I don't think they're going to plan on involving Grookey anytime soon. And, you know, him having one of each starter, like one in the first stage, one middle stage, and one final evolve. Kind of represents Pokemon Trainer from Super Smash Bros. a little bit, so I think that's kind of cool. Also, I love that they gave Sobble U turn right before evolving because, as we know, Drizzle is a lazy Pokemon that doesn't want to do much. So I can literally see Drizzle pulling Emunga moments where Go wants to use Drizzle for battle, but it just uses U turn, goes back into his Pokeball. This, you know, th these are ways that they can make things more interesting than like Rabu, where Rabu did still want to fight, it just wasn't on the best terms with Go. As we see in the special preview, Drizzle is definitely about to pull a reboot where we get to see Drizzle just kind of give Go the cold shoulder and Go is like, oh my goodness. I do wonder how this will be handled because as we know, they already did this with reboot and they shouldn't repeat the same story. But I think it'll be interesting if Cinderace actually gets developed more because of this whole Drizzle stuff like, yo, you got to chill out. I was like this at one point. I don't know. I think they could do something really interesting. And as we know, my boy, writer Dire Man Tan is probably writing up that script on how he will help Drizzle become a Drizzle and soon be in Teleon. Like, <laughs> my boy is in the lab. Another really interesting scene from the previews that we get to see, Dracovish finally comes back to me. Dracovish has not appeared since his capture in episode 50, and we're already at episode 60. So, you know, me and Kiro Blitz made this whole joke that, oh yeah, he's not gonna appear until episode 70, like how Farfetch didn't get his development 20 episodes later. But it does seem like it's going to be coming within the next five or so episodes, which will be pretty interesting. This episode seems like a water race where, as we see Pikachu and Dracovish, Eevee and a Vaporeon now, you know, it would be awesome if Lana's Eevee came back, evolved as a Vaporeon, but I don't think that's going to be the case. And Grookey and Dugon. I love that Dugon's appearing again. We get to see it, you know, falling in love with another Pokemon. I, I just miss Dugon so much, man. Dugon has a great personality. But I think this is going to be a nice, fun, fillerish episode. I don't think there's going to be too much going on. I, I am really interested in this, though. I'm glad to see that Dracovish is back, and I can't wait to see where this goes. And Chloe's development as well. The next couple of episodes we get to see in the preview heavily focuses on Hoenn. As we see, just the plus or minus episode, which I think that's going to be a filler. I don't have too much to say about that one. But what really interests me is this one with Absog, Lely, and like this icy mountain. I don't know what's going on here. Obviously, this is the Hoenn region. I'm assuming that Go is going to go on a catching spree again. We haven't seen him do that in quite a while. But yeah, that's going to be a pretty interesting episode to see him go through a catching spree in Hoenn. He really needs one in Sinnoh as he only has one Sinnoh Pokemon being Mantyke. And that can easily evolve into a Hoenn Pokemon. So is it really a Sinnoh Pokemon that he has? Obviously, we know Diamond and Pearl Remix will come later. So when that does come, we will get to see more Sinnoh. Overall, though, these next couple of episodes do seem pretty intriguing. I'm hoping that we get more, you know, on Iris and Gary soon because, you know, we, we saw them in the opening and we haven't seen them yet. So I assume that if they're not coming in April's episodes, then they will be here in May. But overall, everyone, in the comment section down below, let me know what y'all think of these new episodes and which one are you most excited for. For me, it's definitely Drizzle and the return of Dracovish. As much as I didn't really, like, enjoy Dracovish's capture, I will admit I am glad to see it's finally back. 
Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Trade me one. Peace out.